today we've got a 1994 Isuzu Bighorn. This is the Japanese version of the US market Isuzu Trooper, the Japanese domestic market version. Uh, same body, and actually this one is the V6 gas engine that was made in both markets. It's not the 3.1 liter diesel that we usually get. Um, so this one's a 3.2 liter V6 with around 210 horsepower, which is a ton of power for this SUV. Um, drives really well on US roads and it's a lot of fun. This one was an auction grade 4B with pretty low mileage. It's a really exceptionally clean model and it's in the top trim level as well. So you get the more rare leather interior and a few more decals on the exterior and plenty of nice options such as dual power seats and heated seats as well. Um, but yeah, you can see the condition of the seats is really good. No issues there. <clears throat> this one has 88,000 kilometers on the odometer there. Yeah, we can go ahead and start it up. Starts up just fine. Yeah, runs great. It's really smooth running, really quiet, at least in comparison to what we're used to here with the diesels. But yeah, super clean interior. It looks like the previous owner in Japan added some cup holders and a couple other accessories on the dash. We've got a cassette player up here, climate controls, clock. There's your transfer case. It has part-time four-wheel drive with automatic locking hubs. Then there's your heated seat controls as well as your um, transmission control to put in the power or hold for winter driving. Then we've got an extra storage box down here as well as some cup holders. So, yeah, we can go ahead and turn on the lights, fog lights, show that those work. Also, another thing that works that typically does not are the headlight wipers. So, let's see if I can get out of here fast enough. Yeah, those little guys work just fine. If you're driving in any excessive mud and need to clear off the headlights. But yeah, it has the factory um, fog light set up with the bull bar there. Looks really good. It also has heated and folding mirrors, so you can see here, mirrors fold in just with this button, and yeah, they're also heated. So clearly this is a very well optioned version of the Bighorn, it is the handling by Lotus edition that comes with a Momo steering wheel. And then moving to the back here, not as much going on, but you get the general idea, super clean, no tears or even signs of wear in these seats. Um, and it looks like the floor mats have had this protector on them their whole life. There's that carpet's in pretty incredible condition. And same story for the third row. So this third row can fold up and out of the way if it's not needed. Um, but look at the leather on those. That has just never been used. So. Very impressive to see. And then moving around the back here, you have a couple of barn door style rear doors, so they both slide outwards, or swing outwards. Um, then you can see not a ton of space with the third row down, but once you get that up, you've got some rails for sliding things in, and you get a lot of storage space very easily. You can see here it also has a passenger power seat. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same story with the carpets up here. Exceptionally clean. Tires are in great shape. These are some Yokohama Geolanders. Really good tires. 
nice all terrains that have not been worn down all that much at all. Then we can go ahead and take a look at the engine compartment. Okay, and under the hood here we have that 3.2 liter V6 uh, gas engine from a Suzu. Here is the label for both the model engine and transmission models. So this engine is the, let me remind myself, the 6VD1, as you can see back there. So that's a code you'll use if you want to find parts or anything like that. Um, but really the important thing under here is how clean everything is. And you can see everything was very well maintained. There's not even much surface rust on these parts, which is really surprising to see for a 25-year-old car from Japan. Many engines will have a little bit of surface rust, which is usually not an issue, but um, this one doesn't even have that, so very impressive. And then I'll go ahead and close this. So, yeah, that's about all there is to it. Um, this is a very interesting SUV. Had a good owner in Japan. Uh, was kept super clean. This is great for rural mail delivery here in the US or just a recreational vehicle. Whatever use it may be, this is a great SUV that has a lot of life left in it. So, yeah, you can see more on our website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. Thanks for watching.